Yeah. It's getting goony up in here. Yeah. Getting goonus. Goonus. Goon- 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 travel shovel. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Did everybody pee? Is everybody refreshed? No. Yes. Yeah. Everybody's good. Okay. Okay. Did you pee? Did you pee? No, but I went and tried. Did you pee? I, I did. <laughs> okay. I didn't think I had to go, but I went and tried. Okay, so. good. That's all, all right, that matters. Good. Okay. Well, now I have to pee. No, okay. <laughs> There's a bird? <laughs> we have a bird? What? There's a bird? You say we'll hold a bird? The poster. Oh, I thought You're you were holding a bird, Russell. Okay. <laughs> hey, Russell. What's the bird? Russell holding a bird for me. Yeah, holding a bird for me, bro. Goodness. <clears throat> all right. Ready? Yeah. Ready. <laughs> W Waco. I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This week, I'm going to be talking about an upcoming event happening next week at Rogue Media Studios, happening with the Goon Squad. Go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. What up, what up? I'm Russell Campbell. This is Sean D. Skellington to my left, Tim Vexwolf Webb to my further left, across from me, world famous Zachary Jones. Zachary Jones. Here we are. Zach, Zach. We have a few Zach, people Zach. missing, but uh, there's the. Uh, this is how Who's many people. You, we have uh, Rissa, uh, Queen Rissa, and mm-hmm. Oscar, and Homie Brandon. Mustache Brandon. Oscar. Brandon. Mustache Oscar. Yeah, yeah they, I know uh, Homie Brandon. All right, awesome. Well, mm-hmm. the first question I normally ask is, are you a Waco native, or what brought you to Waco? Russell first. I am a Waco native. I have lived here my entire life, sadly. Um, but yeah, I'm a Waco native. Been Sorry, here, bro. Been right. here my whole life. Sean, you've already been on the show, so you're a veteran. Tim, do you want to tell me? Yeah, no, so I'm not a Waco native, but uh, I moved here for work for okay. the Army full-time. Um, I actually don't even live here anymore, but I'm here all the time anyway. So. All right, and Zach? Uh, no, I am not a Waco native. I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> I moved here due to uh, college, essentially. I went to MCC, and then I graduated from Baylor. So, so. you so you moved from Sin City, Ford, a community college? So, okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a story. So, like, I was a shithead, and I was a shit student. So, like, I uh, essentially, I didn't even graduate high school on time. I graduated in July of 2013. Mm-hmm. And then my dad was like, well, here's my house. I'm going to move to Texas and take this job. And I was just a shithead, and I had shit roommates, and things went bad. And so he's like, you're coming to Texas. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And he's like, yeah, you are. And he grabbed me by my head and drug me to Texas and then the he just like strapped yeah. you yeah. Behind yeah. Uh, and then I went to uh, and he's like still a shithead by the way he's like I think you can get into Baylor if you uh, apply yourself I'm like well I'm not used to doing that and so uh, I went to MCC and took a whole year of remedial courses so I could get my grades up so I could actually start taking real classes and then I got in the York program up there which is amazing <laughs> and uh, yeah so uh then I went to Baylor. All right, cool. And how did you get involved with the art scene here in Waco? Uh, made a lot of friends in the art scene. Uh, Sean Skellington being one. and He uh, said no. Russell Campbell being the yeah. other one. Yeah. Yeah. We and all just kind of like... Uh, we all just kind of like came together. Especially yeah. Like a bunch of different events. Yeah. So Russell, <laughs> tell me how you got involved in the art scene. Oh. Um, I've been in the art scene friends. here probably about four or five years. Um, but more recently just uh kind of branching out and getting out there and uh found these misfits and uh started doing some of the markets especially yeah, right. uh skellington market mm-hmm. and waco art walk um things like that and uh then here we are we've got a group formed uh just some like-minded individuals that want to get together and put on an alternative type of art show for waco so that's kind of the whole way this happened organically basically and we're all inspired by each other and the, the you know everybody's uh everybody's looking forward to uh to this show and what we're doing here so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be punk rock all right dope that's what we like yep. now vex tell me how you got involved in the art scene uh so just uh your local band out there doing graffiti uh allegedly 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 allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> i mean <may have> <clears throat> um yeah allegedly. uh so i did um met most people through the east side market um been doing art for like a year and a half now. Shout out Eric and Andres. Shout out Eastside. Yeah. Um, and then I uh, ended up doing the Paintbrush Social Clubs where I met Zach. And I had I'd known him, Sean, for a little while. Um, yeah, and then now I've been branching out to acrylic since then. But still 
feel a lot of graffiti. For those of you at Allegedly. home, Sean has on a Nosferatu mask right now, and he's freaking everybody out. He's walking down the street while ago and scaring some children. But yeah, so <laughs> other than you guys all just kind of having similar Thank art you. styles and kind of joining forces, um, how did the Goon Squad come about? Correction, our art we actually have no... Yeah. <laughs> not that normal? <laughs> not that normal. They're definitely not the same at the all. The same? They're, um, they're a lot different. Uh, Go ahead, Zach. Essentially, so like what happened was... What happened was... See what, what happened, happened was... See what it happened was... <laughs> Me and Russell were, we were actually at Union Hall, we were eating pizza, and I was like, t- we, Russell was like, you know, it'd be really cool if we started an uh, art collective, and I was like, yeah, dude, let's do like a punk rock, like crazy art collective that just does weird stuff. He's like, yeah, what should we call it? And he's so, like, he came up with the name, which is, I, he was like, yeah, we should call it the Goon Squad, and I was like, yeah, let's do that. And he's like, no, 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 I was just suggesting, I'm like, no, we're doing that. And he's yeah. like, nope, that's it. <laughs> that just and then we came and talked to Mike, like, immediately afterward, and he's like, do you guys have a name? I'm like, yeah, it's the Goon Squad. And Russell's like, it's not the Goon Squad. And I'm like, yes, yeah. it is. I just threw that out there, because I was, it's, it was based off a Deftones song. I'm a huge Deftones fan, no and way. yeah. 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 I never would have guessed. You don't already Nobody would have ever guessed. Yeah, um, <laughs> so I thought that was a cool name for a collective, and we just just, you know, just kind of went from I there. Stuck with my guns. Yeah, <laughs> Zach did. was very adamant that that was the name. So here we are. So yeah, we uh, we just started. We cherry picked everybody who we wanted. So I immediately I was like, we were talking. We were like, we need Vax Wolf. We need Sean. We need Rissa. We need uh, Oscar Skins. We need uh, <laughs> we need <laughs> Homie Brandon. Brandon. Homie hey, Brandon. Homie Brandon. Brandon. Like, don't R. even R. sleep. Homie don't Brandon. even sleep on Homie Not Brandon. How you am gotta, I sleeping on Homie? No, no. Brandon. I'm telling people you got to come to the show to find out what that dude's all about. Because that dude don't sleep on Homie Brandon. They are. Yeah. No. That dude's He's a, a badass that artist. Dude's one of the best for sure. I know one person that sleeps on Homie Brandon. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Sean. Chelsea. And her name Chelsea. is Chelsea. <laughs> with no sleeps with. I love you, Chelsea. My co-host Shout out on my podcast. <laughs> Yeah. All uh, right, cool. Well, tell me how many pieces are you guys going to be showing at this show. 212. <laughs> <laughs> 87. 20? 69? 420? 69? 87? I don't think all of us are potheads, so... Uh, we're bringing we're bringing art we're bringing prints we're, we may do some live painting we're just gonna see what happens we got Von Sells coming making some awesome tacos yeah uh, shout out Matt it's gonna be it's gonna be loud music and people hanging out and just uh, getting to meet us and stuff and then um, you know it's a free event it's on a Wednesday in Waco so you have nothing else to do so get your ass down to Rogue Media six to nine p.m. June thirtieth. Uh, 69. Six, Six to nine. Six to nine. <laughs> Not a coincidence. This is getting dirty. Not a coincidence. Debbie's getting dirty with us now. <laughs> dirty Debbie. <laughs> New nickname. You know. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, this is something. a family-friendly show. Um, well, you invited oh. the wrong people. No. <laughs> you really did. How many <laughs> times have we been bleeped? <laughs> cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Cinnamon roll, yeah. How much sweet is a cinnamon roll? Really? That's what Jordan calls you. Yeah. Right? Oh. You called uh, Vex... Brown sugar? <laughs> <laughs> did I call Max Brown sugar? Well, I did. Oh, crap, That's what's my nickname? <laughs> what's my nickname? Ginger Spice. <laughs> ginger the, Snap. Ginger Jesus. Snap. We got ginger brown ginger sugar, snap. ginger mm-hmm. Snap, and Cinnamon Roll. I'm the Ginger cinnamon Ninja. Cinnamon Roll, and then Sean is, I don't know what to call Sean. <laughs> Sean is uh, authority. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Gin- Ginger snaps. No, <laughs> dude, no, no. Just as long as it's not Brussels sprouts or, Brussels or sprouts. Something, <laughs> something. I got called that in eighth grade, so that stuck. <laughs> or Russell the Love Muscle, which is, you know, Great. that's yeah. that's the nickname. Right yeah, there. that's my porn name. Oh, okay. Russell yeah. the Love Muscle. Check out his OnlyFans. You heard yeah. it here first. Check out my OnlyFans. Hey, this, this is a family friendly. They don't know what OnlyFans oh, is. Oh, you're right. You're right. Most of my demographic, I think, Sorry, is don't. They definitely know. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to go around the room and talk about like what kind of like your art style is, what mediums you guys work in, okay. um, and you know what talent you guys want to display at the show. Um, Russell, go first. Sure, sure. I am pretty much mixed media abstract artist, and I do a little bit of like stencil type stuff, black and whites. Um, and I live paint sometimes. I've live painted before at uh, Waco Art Walk, the Classy Glass open mic with Keep Waco Loud. Shout out Katie and Jacob. Um, and I may do some live painting that night. Uh, just kind of depends on the mood. All the right. mood strikes me just the right, mood. and the light and the sun and the moon, I will live paint. So, yeah, it'll be fun. That's going to be really cool. Okay, Sean, yeah. your turn. I'm going to bring stuff. Do some shit. Things and stuff. I'll do some push ups. <laughs> All right, Tim. Uh, my style is pretty much graffiti, but uh, I'm pretty well-rounded. 
Uh, I'm going to pretty much showcase that, and I can do any style. It doesn't matter what it is. He's a chameleon. Yeah, you just did a piece for Mike, right? You did, did the Iron Giant piece? Yeah, it's one of my favorites, what started me in graffiti, character-wise. Um, but I can also do realism. I can do anything. So I'm going to show a little bit of that. His acrylic stuff that he's been doing recently is really, really good. All right. It's exactly. going to check it out. For sure. Uh, for me, uh, I have my own style where it, I kind of fuse uh, abstract and realism a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to showcase that and uh, see, you know, if you've seen my work before, this is going to be the most intense version of my work. That's really cool. And if you guys want to speak on behalf of uh, Rissa, yourself. that'd be great. Sure, and sure. the other two. Our queen, Rissa, she is a local tattoo artist right, across, right yes. across the street here at Embrace Woo. the Chaos. She is amazing. And she's she also, the one who's actually in charge. She also, yeah, she's <laughs> definitely running the show. Um, she's got some great um, illustrations, too, that uh, she's hit me up about. She's like, I need to make prints. I'm like, dude, you got it. Yeah. Um, Oscar, what would you there. describe Oscar's? Oscar is a uh, cool. comic nipples. illustration. <laughs> nipple illustration. With yeah. a lot of nipples. Yes. Uh, and all kinds of weird body parts and stuff. <laughs> it's it's he, But he does all kinds of crazy stuff. And he doesn't, fun fact, he doesn't actually sketch out what he's going to do. He just does it all in ink. So it's yeah, all it's just insane. a big guessing game. And it works out well every time. So Yeah. And then uh, we got homie Brandon. And homie Brandon is like, if you look at his paintings, you think you're on drugs, mm -hmm. essentially. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah like that dude, like if you look at his stuff, it's just like, uh, did I take something? Who's put something in the Super water? Super psychedelic. <laughs> so, psychedelics are realism yeah. type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, he's, uh, he's really dope. So, yeah. yeah, it sounds yeah. like this event's going to be super dope and super fun. So yeah. I would encourage the community to come out, especially come on over to Rogue Studios. Mm -hmm. um, promo, promo, shout out, shout out to Mike and Rogue, of course. Mike. Not just that I work for them and they sometimes pay me, but... Uh, sometimes. sometimes. Sometimes they pay her in donuts, but yeah. it's sometimes. You know, uh, Corey, he paid? actually promised me brunch and I still have not got brunch, so, you know, what? it's fine. You're talking about it's Zimmerman? Fine. No, no, oh. Jackman. Oh, okay. Oh. Other one. Get other her Jackman. brunch or the goon squad's so, going to take care of you. Yeah. Hashtag get Debbie brunch <laughs> is now going to be trending. Um, yes. Please do it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate Absolutely. you guys talking about. Can we give you our socials? Yes, of course. Um, up next, Five tell me where we can find you. <laughs> <laughs> One nine hundred. No, um, we are on Instagram. Um, uh, Goon dot squad dot collective on Instagram. Um, I'm also at uh, Rustone dot art. All right. And I know Sean's got like eight. Give me all your plugs. <laughs> Or look up Sean Skellington. Yeah, yeah Monster Art it. Monday, Skellington Curiosities. Yeah, um, Bex Wolf, or just find a wall around town somewhere, you'll see it. Yeah. And uh, allegedly, also on Tinder <laughs> uh, and Grinder. Coming Grinder. Wouldn't surprise <laughs> me at all. Uh, and Zach James Jones Art on Instagram. Check it find out. his face on most police. On my my face? <laughs> yeah, it's probably true. wanted. Yeah, yeah. And I heard that there's going to be an after party. Tell me all about that. Yes, indeed. We are going to have an after party at True Love after our event. They are also hosting Emo Night, Emo Night Wednesday. Yes. So I went last My week. Chemical it was Wednesday. so fun. Or My Chemical Wednesday. So definitely uh, come to our show, and then we will all go to True Love after and have a beverage. A beverage. Just like you, the <laughs> yeah, yeah, one time he kicked me out. He's like, um, sorry, we're at capacity. You're not mm -hmm. famous enough to get in here um, unless you want to go around back. And I said, oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Do not worry. Oh, I will not be working <laughs> with that. That's a culture yeah. era, bro. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. But, anyway. yeah. We're looking forward to that. True Love, super cool. Um, awesome. So we look forward to having that. So thank you guys for coming on again. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Yes, indeed. Thank you for tuning into this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about pros and foes and heroes. Gonna, gonna tell, tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about pros, foes, and heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of. 
and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and Bros and Heroes gonna tell you about Bros and Bros and Heroes gonna tell you about Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one-star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one-star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story. <laughs>